Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about eToro potentially adding Shiba Inu as early as Monday. And uh, there's been some interesting things going on with, on Twitter with eToro and SHIB for a while now. And, uh, you know, it kind of came out of nowhere. I just want to talk about uh, eToro for a little bit here. You know, we were so much uh, waiting for Coinbase and Robinhood. eToro kind of just uh, came out of nowhere um, after Voyager had added the asset. And uh, this is a pretty big deal because they've got 20 million active users and they're growing rapidly. We're going to get into the Toro platform a little bit in this video and also talk about what this could mean for SHIB and the price of SHIB if and when uh, Shiba Inu is added to eToro. Uh, so real quick, if you want to give me a follow over on Twitter, it's at Z underscore Humphreys over here. And uh, we're always having some good conversations. I like to retweet funny things like this, uh, Coinbase Pro. Uh, we're still waiting on Coinbase listing, of course. Um, and then obviously the Binance news came out uh, a couple days ago. Where we've been talking about that on the channel as well. So come on over, give me a follow on, uh, on Twitter. It's at Z underscore Humphreys. All right, we'll stay right on Twitter and talk about eToro because here was the tweet. Uh, we're adding new coins on Monday. Drop your guesses in the replies. And, uh, of course, what do you think happened? <laughs> People went crazy, and probably 90% um, of the responses here were related to SHIB. Okay? And this has kind of been going on for about a week or two uh, in terms of just the cryptic messages from eToro and the uh, plethora of responses from the Shiba Inu community. So, actually, some pretty hilarious responses here, too. Uh, so, here's Milkshake, actually who's come to uh, be a, a big figure in the community. Very cool. So uh, so it says adding new on Monday. Now, we've seen this before from other exchanges. We've seen it actually from eToro. Uh, they said they're adding new coins on Monday before, and they do this, I think, just about once a month, if I'm not mistaken, right around um, this time of the month. We kind of speculated that it could be SHIB last time they did this, but... It was not, uh, but this time, with all of the messaging leading up to this tweet sent out yesterday, uh, I would not be shocked if SHIB were added uh, in these new coins that are going up on Monday to eToro's platform. So let's jump into eToro a little bit and their website and just kind of uh, you know touch, touch on some of the things that eToro's done to help them grow over the past uh, year or so. So today, eToro's trusted platform empowers millions of users they're, over, uh, they're in over 140 countries. Uh, they're providing easy access to innovative investment tools with the added value of an engaging collaborative trading community. What I've heard from people using eToro is they rave about the, uh, you know, about the platform being very user-friendly, um, very, very uh, easy to use for new investors, right? Uh, and that's always a, a big deal. So we can take a look at their kind of journey here that started way back in 2007. This is pretty cool how they do this. Etoro's born 2007. And if we scroll way down here, we'll see when they actually started getting into crypto. And that was 2017. Okay, so they were out there for, you know, 10 years or, or, or so before they got into crypto and back in 2017 when, of course, that was the last bull cycle when a lot of people were investing into crypto and a lot of people were getting involved for the first time. So uh, after pioneering Bitcoin trading in 2013 via CFDs, eToro expanded its cryptocurrency offering, enabling clients to trade and invest in Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, and other popular cryptocurrencies. Uh, since then, obviously, they've added a ton of different assets um, since 2017. Then in 2018, they added their United States cryptocurrency trading platform. They began phase one of servicing the United States market, bringing U.S. clients their unique offering in cryptocurrencies. And they said it's only the beginning. Stay tuned for more to come. And that's kind of where their uh, timeline levels off here. But they were not done, that's for sure, because they had some crazy, crazy growth in 2020 and 2021. And we'll pop over this Yahoo Finance article. It's going to tell us more about that year-over-year -year growth and total commissions for eToro. So check this out. Total commissions of $347 million for Q1 2019 
2021 up 141% compared with Q1 2020. So they are growing like crazy. And of course, they believe that adding more cryptocurrencies like SHIB will only help them grow here in the near distant future. So highlights for the quarter ended March uh, 31st, 2021. They've got 3.1 new registered users, uh, up 214% compared to Q1 2020. Total commissions of $347 million. That's up 141% compared to Q1 2020. How about net trading income of uh, $269 million? That's up 72% compared with Q1 2020. And uh, it is just remarkable what they've been able to do in the past year. Speaking of eToro, so uh, they're growing. Uh, that we know. eToro is a global community. Now more than 20 million active users who share their investment strategies. Anyone could follow the approaches of those who have been most successful. And again, people rave about the simplicity of the platform. Users can easily buy, hold, and sell assets here. Especially new investors really seem to like the platform. So what does this mean for SHIB? That's the big question, right? Uh, we know that we're going to reach 20 million, potentially, 20 million active users. Uh, we know that eToro is really big in uh, certain places outside uh, the United States, like Mexico, uh, South America, and, and other places, 140 different countries. Uh, that's pretty, pretty wide. What can it do to the price? I think it can definitely positively impact the price. I don't think it could have a similar impact to a Coinbase or a Robinhood would. However, 20 million, potentially 20 million active people uh, seeing SHIB and potentially adding SHIB, this is definitely a positive catalyst. Now, uh, I think this coupled with a Coinbase listing, I think we could 4 or 5x. Just this alone, I think we can see a nice run-up, a modest run-up, uh, and I think no matter what, though, that is a positive thing here, especially in a bearish market. In a bear market, uh, this probably wouldn't run up as much as it would in a bull market, right? Just more people downloading eToro app because eToro is bigger uh, at that present time. However, uh, when things do pick back up, uh, people will have the opportunity to go to eToro to add the asset, which is pretty cool. All right, before we get out of here, I just want to talk about the uh, Patreon real quick. And we've got two membership levels over here. And I just want to say this. Thank you to everybody in our private community. You guys are amazing. Um, I'm learning from you each and every day, and we're all learning from each other over there. So if you want to come over and join us along in that journey, uh, you can become a supporter or an insider today. Uh, make sure you read uh, the fine print here and the details about how Patreon does their payments. But if you want to become an insider, you're going to get all the Discord access, the general support, as well as buy and sell trade alerts, access to our private portfolio. And in addition to that, we are adding something new uh, with the insider access. There's going to be like a, I guess you could say a weekly newsletter going out uh, each and every week talking about five cryptos that we're watching very closely. So if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know and uh, yeah, join up and we'll love to see you over there. All right, if you got some value, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.